Hello, this is Dr. Thompson from Taylor University, and I'm going to talk specifically about the integral and derivative of 3 to the x. This applies for any base that isn't e. We're all pretty familiar with e to the x. Its derivative and its antiderivative are the same, e to the x. It's a little different when you integrate other bases. So if you remember back to Calc 1, if you took the derivative of 3 to the x, it was 3 to the x times ln of 3. So we want to do the opposite of that when we take the antiderivative. So it's going to be 3 to the x over ln of 3. And this is true for any base. You're just going to multiply by ln of that base for differentiation and divide by ln of that base for anti-differentiation. All right, so let's do a W substitution example with some infinite limits uh, using 3 to the x. All right, so here you see this example. This is the integral from 0 to infinity of x times 3 to the negative x squared dx. So I have to do a w substitution here because I know how to do 3 to the w, not 3 to the negative x squared. So we'll make w that inner thing minus x squared. We want the w to be simple usually. And so dw is going to be minus 2x dx. And then dx then will be dw over the minus 2x. And that works out because that x will cancel this one. I also need to change the limits. When x is 0, so is w. When x is infinity, you need to think about this like a limit. As x goes to infinity, think about this substitution. The substitution is if w is the y and x is the x, it's this guy. So as x goes to infinity, those y values or those w values are going to minus infinity. So that's how I got minus infinity here. All right, so let's make these changes. So now we have x times 3 to the w dw over negative 2x. I can cancel the x's, and I've changed my limits as well. And so now let's simplify. I can bring the minus 1 half out front. And now it's the integral from 0 to minus infinity through to the w dw. And that's a limit, so now we're going to go ahead and properly make that a limit. So I change that to b, and we could do this antiderivative using normal techniques and then take the limit as b goes to minus infinity. So... <laughs> When I take the antiderivative, I get 3 to the w over ln of 3, like we talked about. I'm going to plug in b and 0 for w. And I've got this minus 1 half outside. And then last, I'll take the limit as b goes to minus infinity after I do that. So let's do that on the next slide. All right, so I've plugged in b and 0. And now I'm specifically thinking about the limit of this first term. And ln of 3 and minus 1 half are constants. I'm really just focused on 3 to the b which is a graph that looks a lot like e to the x. And the key thing is that as it goes to minus infinity, the horizontal asymptote on that graph is zero. So this becomes zero and goes away. So I don't actually need that spot. And then I can just multiply these two things. And I get positive one over two times ln three times ln answer. All right, so let's look at how this might look on your homework. So at the top here, I've got the original problem. Here's my substitution. Here's me simplifying the substitution. Here is taking the limit or setting that up at least. Here is doing the antiderivative and then you validate the limit afterwards to get one over two times ln of three. And so that is an example of using 3 to the x and doing uh, infinite limits.